Hi everyone, Scrappy Kathy here with my Scrap Backwards weekly video. And this time it's my a combination of my July kit reveal. And it's a kit that's going to last me for through the rest of the year. So a six month kit reveal and uh, my first layout with the kit. And I'm going to use the Scrap Squad uh, weekly lift that uh, that came out Friday before they started their 12 Days of Summer event. And I'm going to try to do all 12 in the summer thing, but it may take me a month to do it, not 12 days. <laughs> so, um, first of all, I want to uh, talk about my June kit that I'm retiring. I've had that kit. That kit started in January and started with some... Um, stash that uh, Scrappy Adam uh, sent to me. Uh, he was doing a, 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 a de-stashing and he came up with some uh, papers and embellishments that he thought I would use, but that he might not so much. So in other words, there was a lot of pink in it. It's not his favorite color to scrap with. So he sent me a lot of pink things and some uh, kind of, uh, if you'll recall, there were some really abstract um, um, patterns that were extremely difficult to use, I might say. And so I kind of worked through those, and each month I did a refresh. And I think at the end of it all, I didn't have well, I, I may have had a few stickers on some sticker sheets that, uh, that were part of what he sent me. But when I went through, there were a few of the papers in the June kit that were um, part of a, a packet of papers that my good friend Sharon sent me, and she purchased them uh, as like a, a, a paper packet from um, Mind the Scrap, and they came to me with a Mind the Scrap Kit. So that's kind of what gave me the idea, the, the seed of the idea for what my kit was going to be this time. So I pulled those papers, those relatively new papers, into my kit. And then I thought, well, okay, those came from Mind the Scrap, and I'm sitting here with two pizza boxes uh, that contain the May and June mind the scrap kits and I had some leftovers in there so I decided to use those as the start plus I had some newer collections that I had uh, purchased with gift cards uh, the, some of the orders went in as early as February but were held until fairly recently like um June, May, June time frame, um, because some of the items hadn't been shipped yet. So I kind of pulled a few of those things in that I thought would go with the other things I had, and that's the kit that I ended up with. But before we go to the new kit, I want to show you the things that I'm carrying over, and this is it. That whole big old gigantic kit that had all of those um, little envelopes like this of um, embellishments, well, envelopes like this one, for example, I pretty much retired all of that, which is to say a lot of it went to the recycle bin and things that uh, are not uh, recyclable I put in the trash. They were... Um, most of them had been around for a while. I pulled them into the kit to see if I could get them used. They were things that didn't excite me or thrill me or bring me joy. And so, and, and they weren't uh, in um, good enough condition and, and they weren't related well enough to, uh, that, that I didn't, I, it made me think no one else would be interested in them. So, some of the things I did keep. If you'll recall, I think about maybe May, I brought in this set of envelopes that I found. There are 
fancy pants envelopes from a variety of collections, and I've sorted them into large and small. And then I have these, this, I guess that's a frame, that's a tag. I just can't um, get rid of a, a tag that has a crab on it that says, oh snap. And then there is a, uh, a stamp of playing cards of the <laughs> Beatles, John, Paul, George, and Ringo aces there. And that was stamped for me and sent to me by my good friend, Helen. And I've got these uh, on, these are kind of um, uh, envelopes. I'm not quite sure. I, I think they're simple stories and they came with a snap um, set from probably 10 years ago. And I, these are the only ones I have left. And I thought they might make a nice, um, uh, kind of a grid or a line with some em either embellishments or photos sticking out of them. So I, I thought I could use them. Um, I had some other envelopes that were um, kind of cheap and in in colors that I didn't think I would use. So those are uh, being recycled. This is a piece. It's a um, 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 frame from a... Um, Gosh, I guess I, I, I will think of the um, collection that came from, but it's a collection I've loved. It had lots of tropical leaves and so forth. And I like the colors in the frame. I, do, I, don't, I don't know why I haven't used it before. I have this, which I cut from a, a paper, and I was going to use it as the second page of a two-page um uh, spread that uh, I, I think the first page was about the girls at Tybee Island, and I forgot that I was going to use this for um, uh, a, a more recent picture of the girls at Tybee Island, and so I, I went ahead and, and scrapped the photo that I might have used, but I kept this because I still have some photos from Tybee Island that I haven't scrapped, so I thought that might be might be good. I have these things which are are pieces from a glitz design packet uh, a collection and I like them I, I don't know exactly what I'm going to do with them this likewise this um my happy place uh uh this is something that came in a mind the scrap kit so I'm pretty sure I'll use that. I have these things which were created with a machine I no longer have. It's something that John gave me as a gift, and it was the going to be the next big thing, and then nobody bought it, and so um, they stopped making the machines, and also they stopped making the dies for it. It was a combination die an embossing sort of thing, it, like a like a letterpress sort of machine. I forget what the name of it was, but it is a fuse tool. It was not the fuse tool that you think of. There are a couple things, but it was a fuse machine, and I think it was made by um, Fiskars or, yeah, Fiskars, I think. Anyway, and I have these, which are um, from by Diane Reevely, and these that were um, uh, prizes that I won in a in, in a challenge many years back. They're um, raw uh, chipboard, and then I have this sticker sheet which I ordered as a one-off in, in some of those orders. And it has some beautiful uh, Australian birds and, and flowers, flora and fauna in here. It's just gorgeous. And so that kind of stays. And I, will eat. I have this bit that says happy day. And I'm not sure what's underneath there, but I thought that would make a nice title. And then I have some of the things that came. There's uh, another couple of Diane Reevely 
uh, bits, and these are on canvas instead of um, glossy paper. And these are cards that came in visible image um, orders. And, and I, I just, I love this. So I, I thought I might try to, I did, these are things I didn't want to throw away. Let me put it that way. And they may or may not get used in this kit, but I probably will never, ever toss them. I don't think. And so I'm going to, so that's kind of the, that's not really part of the kit. It's just something that will be the part of will be available to any kit I ever use. So I'm gonna start with the embellishments before the papers here. And I don't know why, it's just because they're in the front trays. I have this uh, tray of uh, floral bits from the Boho Sunshine Collection by Simple Stories. Um, not my favorite color palette. Um, but I'll, I'll, you know, power through. This, <laughs> this one has bits from uh, Memory Place Book Lovers Ephemera and also uh, Maggie Holmes Woodland Grove. And there is some Prima stuff in here. And I'm not sure how that got in there, but that's a sticker from what looks like a, um, oh, I don't know, um, a boy collection. And this is from that same collection as that frame that I showed you. And I'm not sure, I'm gonna put it with, in that box with that frame. That uh, is another one of those. So these floral and, and other ephemera in here are going to be difficult for me to use. These are just not my favorite things. I do love that acetate butterfly. And, and I, I will use these things, but these are the kind of things that if at the end of my six months, if there's anything in here that hasn't been used, it probably will go in the trash. So there's three different um, collections worth of ephemera in there. This is a, um, a set of ephemera from Jen Hadfield's Peaceful Heart. And again, not my favorite colors, but I love the way they've done the um, leaf sprig ephemera where they have it in two bits and, um, and you can, you know, cut them apart and use them. I think I'm going to use some of that on my layout today. So I'll put that in there. And there's another box of the um, ephemera from Vicki Booten's um, <clears throat> Where To Next collection. And I have a few things that are from other collections of hers that I just kind of put in here because they're, they're Vicki Booten stuff. And so that, you know, all of these things came from Mind the Scrap Kits. Um, these I'm carrying over because I use them a lot and I did uh, buy an extra set of them uh, when uh, Emma was selling some things that she had extras of in um, at Mind the Scrap. And then I have this, uh, th this word fish that I was gonna use on another layout and, and didn't, and that's kind of being carried over. I'll have to figure out a fish layout to do. And then I'm gonna go with these. This Our Story Matters paper pad is, you'll remember that, uh, that I, I used it last year, uh, uh, or last year, last month. Um, it came in a Mind the Scrap kit and I, I used it at, when, when I was just creating from the Mind the Scrap kit. I've moved it into here 
and there is a sticker sheet that goes with it. This is a pack of ephemera from Antique Garden by K and Company, and I haven't opened it because I'm absolutely sure I will never ever want to use anything that's in here. There's nothing in here that is a style that I am comfortable creating. So I will probably keep this uh, and offer it as a, um, 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 a gift or, or, or gift it to someone um, who I think might like it. A uh, set of puffy stickers that where the colors kind of really go well with the Our Story Matters. It's not the same collection. Some Pink Fresh Alphas in uh, Spring Vibes. Some 49 and Market Acetate Leaves in that beautiful blue color. Uh, Violet Studio uh, Circular Stickers that are good for adding a little sheen and color. Some Simple Stories Chipboard Frames. These were available from mine. The scrap that came in a kit a long time ago, and I long ago used the ones I had, and I absolutely love these. And they, they're they travel-themed, that they're from the collection called Let's Go, which is travel-themed, which could go with a lot of the travel-themed items from Where To Next, which is, there's this uh, six-inch, six-by-eight paper pad. And then I have this Happy Days paper stack, six by eight paper stack uh, from Coco Vanilla. And of course, you know, I love those colors and icons. There's also this Tim Holtz stencil that came in a um, one of the Mind the Scrap mixed media kits. So that's gonna be part of the kit. Um, I have uh, among the things that um, I bought that I've pulled in here are uh, this set of uh, rub-on transfers of the uh, flowers and leaves and butterflies from Spectrum Gardenia. This uh, sticker sheet from um, Happy Days by Coco Vanilla and the chipboard titles from Happy Days by Coco Vanilla. I absolutely love those. And yes, I'm not getting rid of any old stash, but I'm preventing some new stash from getting old <laughs> and stale. Okay, these are from Mind the Scrap Kits, these uh, alphas. Um, this is a uh, dream chaser, um, um, puffy stuff. It looks like a Maggie Holmes. I guess dream chaser is a Maggie Holmes collection. And these are laser cut elements from the color swatch ocean, which has all the blues and it's got all kinds of things. And that's going to go really nicely with those blue leaves, I, both of which came in a mind to scrap kit. I have some scraps that came, that I carried over because of the colors. I, I like things that have all the colors because then um, they go with lots of other things that I have. So it kind of expands the usefulness of the kit. There's this set of um, um, like, it, they look like wooden letters and they're uh, kind of grayish, like a gray wood grain. And then there are even some blank ones. And this came in a Mind the Scrap kit. Um, now I'm gonna do the, I'm still sticking with embellishments. This sticker sheet is from Our Story Matters, which goes really well with that six by six paper pad. This, um, it, it's the, <laughs> it goes really well with it because it's the same collection. And the, I've, you know, used quite a few of the stickers here, but I thought I'd try to, to kill that one. And then there's this to the moon, which has lots of blues. So those blue leaves and the blue elements from, uh, even though they're, totally different collections. Um, the 49 and Market, you know, a lot of this will go with that 49 and Market. 
This is a sticker sheet that I ordered from the leftovers that they had at uh, Mind the Scrap. It's Simple Stories Into the Wild, and I love this for documenting travel or kids or, you know, whatever. I just love everything about this collection, and I never had anything in this collection other than the sticker sheet. And so I, I matched it up with other uh, papers and things that I had that had similar themes or th similar colors. And I created all kinds of pages that looked like they came out of that collection. So these are my two sticker sheets or three sticker sheets that I'm going to be uh, basing my, you know, designing my pages around. And something else from a Mind the Scrap kit, which I've already used a little bit of, is this Spectrum Gardenia Sentiments Rub-On Transfer Sheet. So there are some titles, and then there are also some what look like uh, dictionary definitions. So those will become part of the kit. Now let's get to the papers. And I'm going to start with a couple that are... Um, partial pages they've already been cut into and these were this is that woodland grove collection by um, maggie holmes that i have some uh, ephemera for but what i kept it for was this gorgeous wood grain and i love the, the oranges but what i really love is this paper and i'm going to try to figure out if i can do something maybe make it a 12 by 12 by by layering this over um, a, like a wood grain and putting down a strip of oranges as a divider and then having some photos with the greenery showing behind the photos. I just kind of thought that might be neat. And now we're gonna get to some papers that came in the Mind the Scrap Kit that are absolutely fascinating. <laughs> they're, they're similar in that they're very unusual and not your run-of-the-mill kind of risky uh, choices to make for a collection. Um, kind of like some of the abstract ones that Adam sent me. But I, I love the mixed media look here. The crash part, I'll have to kind of, it will take me a, a bit to find photos that that would work with, but I can always cut that off and fussy cut that out to use as a, a title somewhere. But this is amazing. Now on the other side, there are cut aparts that again, keep with that kind of anime um, comic book sort of look. Very interesting paper. And there's some more, I think, in that collection later. There, In fact, there are um, I think I forgot to pull these out. There are these clips from Where To Next, these enamel dots, these stamps from Concord and Ninth, and there's some ephemera from that super awesome uh, collection by Asuka. Asuka is the, um, the company that designed this paper. So I have some ephemera that, that go with that. So if I, it, it will kind of challenge me from a design standpoint, um, and, but I, I'm sure I can find photos of the kids that would, um, you know, Barrett dressed up as a superhero. Those pictures are not hard to find <laughs> in, in, his, in his history. There's this uh, paper, one of my favorite papers from uh, Where To Next and another favorite paper from Where To Next. Just use those, uh, both of those in a class. This is another one of those Asuka papers from the Super Awesome collection, and it's absolutely gorgeous. Can you imagine those blue leaves and some of those blue elements, um, you know, kind of layered onto here? Uh, you could make this page anything. It doesn't have to be about superheroes. Uh, and, and, and this, how amazing is that? 
absolutely gorgeous designs. And then another one that, that's got a lot of blue in it um, that that kind of goes, at both sides have blue. And, and I can see doing a, a lighter background or maybe even some mixed media on it and, and then using some of those blue leaves for a little bit different look. This is from uh, uh, the 49 and Market Vintage uh, Everywhere collection. And it's got these tickets kind of in the, in the background. I, I can see layering all kinds of florals and other things, you know, with that. There's a very kind of neutrally um, page on the back. And I don't think I have this paper. I have a few papers from that collection. I didn't get the whole collection because it, by the time I discovered it, it was sold out. Um, this is a sheet from Our Story Matters and it's a multicolored grid, which I love. The other side has got these cut aparts and I have to decide whether my sticker sheets and um, uh, the six by six pad that I have will be enough. This one uh, also from Our Story Matters and it's got the little typewriters. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's Flora number six from uh, Cartabella and the, I guess that's the name of the line. This, it's got a couple florals. I mean, this is just gorgeous. And this is a signature uh, Emma, <laughs> Emma design. She'll, any designer who puts out a design that looks like this, Emma's gonna pick it for the kid. <laughs> Those are just beautiful. This is from the Boho Sunshine collection. And that's what, you know, I'm going to create a page with this and then layer every single one of these embellishments on the page because um, I, I, I don't think I'll find anything else that I will like with that. And I, I, it's hard for me to explain to you why I don't like it. Um, this is from Cartabella. This is here, there, and everywhere. And it's these gorgeous little cameras, but also this. I wish I had two sheets of this um, because I'd like to fussy cut the cameras or even use a strip. And some cardstock that came in the uh, Mind the Scrap kits. This is um, the uh, A Day in the Life, which is um, very similar to <laughs> Where did it go? The Our Story Matters. And I, what did I do with my little six by six paper pad? Well, you remember it. The Our Story Matters that we were talking about earlier. Let's see if I can find it. I, what I wanna do, I keep thinking that those two are compatible. And these are the colors in Our Story Matters. These are the colors in Day in the Life. And the blues are the same. The, there's a pale pink here that is pinkier than this more um, salmon-y pink there. So the pinks are a little bit different, but certainly could be used together, like these flowers layered on this kind of background would be absolutely gorgeous. And I have two sheets of it because I ordered one. Uh, I, back in the day, I used to get an extra paper pack. And so I had one, an extra one in my kit. And it was part of the gift that Sharon sent me. So thank you, Sharon. Can't have too much of these. I'm gonna fussy cut one and use the cut aparts on the other. This is another one that was in my kit before, but it's a relatively recent paper from a fairly recent, maybe the March uh, Mind the Scrap kit. And this, see, this is another one of those that's similar to that floral that I showed you before. This 
came in maybe one of last year's kits from Mind the Scrap. And I just recently did a layout where I fussy cut some of those circles. So I'm glad I have another sheet of that. This is gorgeous. It's, um, it's a wedding paper from Echo Park. And, but you, you know, it doesn't have to be a wedding. Anything, you know, on here. Some of those uh, flowers from here, um, I can see using, you know, these are the small background flowers and then you use these as your big power flowers. And then here's that uh, day in the life uh, sticker sheet and I have both day in the life and our story matters there and that sticker sheet kind of got lost in the papers but see how compatible those are they're very similar and it could be very useful to 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 have both of those this is, I don't even know who made this because the strip's off of it, but I, I'm, I think this might be a little hard for me to use, but I will do my best. <laughs> this is another, and these all came, these were similar, uh, or, or these are relatively recent papers that came in the paper pack that I got the random paper pack. So some Vicki Booten. Uh, I haven't used this sheet other than in a, a layout in the class that I took for print shop. And I'm anxious to try to do something fun or interesting with it. I could arrange it this way and do some photos down and have some ephemera kind of you know, layered on. This is from uh, Coco Vanilla Happy Days. I pulled a few sheets of the, those papers and the ones I happened to randomly pick, I didn't know, I just reached in the paper pack and kind of pulled stuff out of my, my Coco Vanilla stack. And this is, a, again, another good floral to fussy cut. And I'm not crazy about the strawberry um, print on the other side. So that will be for fussy cutting. This one, of course, the it's obvious that you might want to fussy cut these titles. But I have the, the these titles. I'll have to see if there are any in here that aren't in here. So... We shall see. But again, I could probably bypass this pattern. Um, I, I have the six by eight paper stack, which has that pattern in it. And I might use that as a like photo mat or, or you know, a mat on the, uh, on the layout. So I think I probably will fussy cut those titles out. And of course, there's the giant rainbow. I love it. I love all of these. I'd, I've seen a lot of people um, cut these out and then arrange them on a, um, on a layout, and I might try to do that. And I absolutely love the little tiny hearts on white on the back, so I would hate to lose that. But you know what I would do? I probably, if I'm cutting it apart, I'll probably cut this pink one right here would be the last one that I would cut because if I'm gonna separate them, I'm gonna kind of move them apart a little bit so that there's white showing in between. And that means that, that that's the last one probably that would fit on my page. And that will leave me all of this paper to fussy cut some leaves and flowers and other things out of this pretty white paper or maybe even get a fairly decent sized strip to use on a on a layout. And here's some fussy cuttable butterflies with a really pretty uh, color um, polka dot on the back. Uh, this is a Bella Boulevard uh, Island Escape page and it 
came from, uh, I pulled some seaside sort of things to kind of go with some of the other embellishments that I had. And uh, I just kind of pulled this out because of the colors. I, I like things, as, as I said, with this color would go with almost any of the uh, other collections that I have here. Um, I like this kind of paint splattered yellow, but there are some nice cut aparts back here. So I might use some of the yellow and some of the cut aparts. This is an old one, and I, I guess I pulled two from Paradise Beach. Um, I love this idea, fussy cutting that out and making that a a strip and then fussy cutting that out and making it a strip. But I also love the uh, teal hibiscus and the orange uh, kind of scratchy look. And this is also Paradise Beach and you can see the palm trees, everything. there's a lot of tone on tone action there. Um, I probably would cut that and use that separate from this. Not sure why I say that, but, and of course, you know, I love that color. Um, this is, uh, now we're into um, Pretty Little Studio Sunkiss collection. And I pulled this multicolor stripe because it goes with everything that I, else that I have. In fact, I pulled two of these. I had two, two came in the collection because I like this side of it as well. This is almost a, a, a background that you could treat as if it was a solid. And then every once in a while, something floral or a little bee or something would, would peek out of it. Um, th this I had in that last kit and didn't use it, but I'm, I kind of thought of a way to use it. I was inspired by um, one of the Vicki Booten classes. So I think we'll see this getting used. And that is a, um, I have that stencil and I dipped it in ink and then put it on the paper. Um, and, and I, this idea of all of these splotchy looks, that was intentional. And I'm probably going to try to find a way to add more to make that more interesting. And then I have the entire paper pack of the Gardenia Painted Foundations. And it has papers that are meant to be used as backgrounds that have all the colors. And I can see using any of the other collections. And then of course you have this incredible, um, I, I would hate to, to lose that, but I, I think this is my favorite background paper I've ever seen. I love diagonal black and white stripes so much. And then there's this one, but I probably would use this side. Love this, like this, these uh, strips of tickets and, and such. And I like that too. And I'd probably use that before I use the circle. It's testing me here with a purple circle. And I like that a lot. So that might actually be a good background for my, I'm gonna put it aside. That might be a good background for the page I'm gonna make. Okay, so you've seen everything in the kit now including the things that are not really in the kit, but which I'm gonna give myself access to. And this piece that I have no intention of using or even opening. And so, now let's get started. I have already, I, I, I chose this, this was a scrap. Um, from this little scrap bag right here. It's the reverse side of this, the stripe. I have this other stripe in here. Oh, that's part of the, one of those um, Echo Park collections. 
Okay, and I don't need this. I'm not sure why I pulled that out. Okay, I'm going, so I pulled this out. Well, first, let me show you the, um, the lift that I'm doing. It's this, let me pull that out. It is a, there's a, a single, well, it's actually a cut file. You can kind of see that in the outlines of some of the florals that have been backed. And that tag is an, uh, a, um, is a cut file. And it's just one banner, a photo, and a floral cluster here, and a floral cluster there, with a tag and I guess a a uh, sentiment there. So that's so I picked this, and and I fussy cut or not fussy cut, but I die cut these um, leaves and the. Um, the, the whole reinforcer um, and 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 kind of since I didn't have a cut file I what I did was I backed my um, banner in white so it kind of looks like it gives you the look of a cut file and then I did some of these white leaves to kind of further, add to that look when I use regular ephemera from other collections. So having picked that out, I looked at photos, frankly, I looked at photos that I had already printed because uh, at the moment my printer is uh, low on one of the inks and I was afraid that it might not print a new picture. I discovered this one on James's Facebook page fairly recently. And it's a photo of John holding hands with Katie in the parking lot at a restaurant or a mall or a movie theater. I think it's a studio movie grill. And she was pointing something out. It's just the cutest little outfit. She's got her little boots. And just the, the, the bond between those two was something special. And I thought that... A colorful background with florals might be just beautiful with that. So that's how I picked that photo. Let me back it with some foam and then we'll, we'll decide what we want to do as far as, and where's my, there it is. Okay, I guess I need to bring this back onto the. Okay, and so that will go there and then we'll go from there. Now, I pulled this paper as a potential background. I could put it here. I don't want to lose the pink. Let's see. If I did that, I'd almost cover up all the pink. If I did it a little off to the side and then did this and then built a smaller cluster here overlapping more onto the background. I think that would work. And what I want is for these white leaves to show up against the mixed media background. So I kind of want to be sure that that will happen. That will be much easier than doing my own. I was prepared to do my own with this evergreen bow, which I think on paper would end up looking uh, about the right color for that. So I'm gonna skip the mixed media and go straight to this background paper. It does a couple things. It saves some time and it uses um, 
something from my kit. So let me cut this off. And I love that the um, branding strips from the 49 and Market collections really um, are meant to be used as design elements. Okay, let's see what we're going to do here. Um, I want to put foam behind this as well. And I don't think I have enough on there. So let's go. That requires about yay much to be cut off. And then that. Okay. Let's see. How was I doing that? <laughs> was, was that the orient? I don't think that was the orientation. Was that the orientation? It was not. Hmm. But would that work? I think that would work. I think that's a, that may be what we looked at. Uh, and I'm going to just kind of, I hate losing that. So maybe I could put it more over this way, but then I lose, so I'd get the purple, but I'd lose the pink. So I'm gonna move it. I'll do this. And I'll go up. Okay. And now I'm going to put some extra foam behind here. Like so. And I'm going to pull some leaf sprigs from here. Let's see. I like that as well. Let's see. And I'm going to just pull some flowers from the Vicky Booten ephemera, and then maybe also a, a butterfly or two. I'll do this one and that one. And then let's see. Ooh, there, that's cute. Um, oh, that actually might be a good title. It says, let's roll. Actually, I could put it here. And then I want to get from here this title that says love. See if I can pull that out. And I may come back for some of these chipboard hearts.
Okay. do that right in here because there aren't going to be any flowers here. I'm going to put foam behind this. have it kind of partly oh you know what I didn't do the hole and the let's see if I can do that <laughs> I forgot I got the um, I liked the fact that there was a hole in the original so I did that, let's see, that's about the center. Okay, and now I'm gonna put this on. And that kind of reinforces the um, the look of the uh, and so I'm going to move this quite a bit further down it it looks like the uh, it reinforces the look of a cut file and it's not that I believe. anyone is going to think I have a cut file. It just gives you that look, that white frame that I think is what a lot of people like about cut files. Now, I'm gonna look in that um, before I start layering on flowers, I'm gonna put some of the other things. I'm gonna look in here, okay. Here is a tag. That's a little, and this kinda, of, since I'm using, and that could go there, overlapping the photo, instead of to the side, so. I'm going to need two layers of foam. Here. And that is going to give me a place to write the date. And I'm sorry, I do not have a date. For this, I want to say 2013, but I don't have the, the, the date from that year. I'll get that on there off camera. Okay, so now let's see what we're going to do. I'm going to do maybe two flowers down here, and I'm gonna raise them up on foam. Let's see, what do I want? I thought, see I've covered up a lot of the pink, but there's pink behind the, the word love, so I'm thinking that's good. You know me, I'm, I have, uh, I, my eye, this is kind of a silly thing, but my eye views color palettes that don't contain pink as 
though they're missing something. It's not to say that I don't like them, but there's, um, uh, it, it, it looks like something's missing. And my happy place is achieved when that, uh, when that situation is corrected. So I'm going to do this. I'm not I'm not liking that as much as I thought I would. Uh, let's do this. And press that down. Okay, so that's together, and I'm thinking I might want one of these with the bright green leaves, maybe kind of coming out from there, so I need a little foam up top here. And I'm going to kind of curve these. And then I'll put some glue there. And press that down. So that's one cluster. And I might do... I'm, there's some balance problem with it. I'm kind of thinking it needs something here. Okay, there. Now, let's come up here. I probably won't use that, but I might want something up there that's a little different, so I may use one of these, kind of right there, coming out of there. So I want the foam On it there. And that's just a a background.
and I'm gonna put this on a little piece of foam. I watched uh, uh, Sheena Rowland's video this morning that had a, um, where she was using, uh, you know, kids foam and it made me think that I've been a little bit um, stingy with my foam lately and using my tape a lot, which I don't have any problem with that. I use them interchangeably. Okay, just kind of slide that under there and have that lifting up and then this can go down but raised up on foam about halfway through okay and then this is my die cut leaf and then I have okay and now I'm gonna do the butterfly with a little bit of foam. And I'll do it coming out from under this leaf and going over that leaf. Okay, let me now take a look and see in one of these, in this sheet, I've got a lot of, um, A lot of little word strips and I thought maybe I would take this pink one this pink label and tuck it under the black and white label just to give it a little bit of grounding it's Kind of interfering with the foam that the label is on. I don't like that actually. How about if I put it in the middle? And then pick a word strip. Uh, actually, there is this little thing that says happy snaps and it has room for a date. That would be so cool to put the date on. I tell you what, I'll... Think that. Let's see what this says. Um, 
Unforgettable might be a little bit too long. Uh, this is the life together. That's what we want to do. And this I'm going to put on some of the thin foam strip. Let's see. I've put it a little bit too close to the end there. So I'll pull that off and then I think we're done. I thank you for um, sticking with me through this long video. Um, I hope you are inspired to create a kit from old or new supplies or some combination of the two. I think I've got mostly newer supplies here. I have been in my kits really uh, emphasizing older things. Okay, there we go. And I like that. And I will, I can squeeze a date in underneath, in between the pink and the, the black frame there. Let's see if there's anything else I want to use. I did think I might go back and pull some of these um, little chipboard hearts and stars. I'm going to put that one right there. And let me get a blue one that would contrast nicely over here with this orange. And this is still bothering me that it seems like there needs to be something under there. I'm going to get a, a yellow star because... The, there are yellow dots in in this guy right here, and I think that might be pretty. Okay, I'm going to look for something. There is this little guy. And I'm thinking, I have some really thick foam that could go on one side of it. the side <laughs> let's see if I can do this And now what I'll do is get one of those stars. Let's get this I'll get the no no, we'll get the turquoisey one. And I'm just gonna lay it right there. Okay, 
I'm good with that. And I thank you for watching. I will, um, I've, I've kind of slowed down because there's a lot going on um, lately. And um, some of you kind of <laughs> know, know where I'm coming from on that. Uh, but I hope to pick up the pace a little bit um, in the next few days. I have um, lots of, I'm so excited about the new sketches that are out for July on the scrap -a sketch uh, website, the premium sketches. And I have been, I've, I've been planning to work on those and, and haven't, uh, haven't got the, <laughs> I haven't done it yet. And there are a million th other things I haven't done, but this one is done. It's done and dusted. And I thank you for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.